What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to the world of Mortal Kombat X. Today we're checking out my favorite Scorpion variant, the Hellfire Scorpion. He is going head to head against my brother in a best of three versus Katana and then we'll wrap things up with some super sexy Devora footage. Thank you guys so much for supporting these videos, I'm so glad you're pumped for the game. I cannot wait to get the thing in my hands for real, it was so much fun to play last week and I just need more in my veins now. Make Make sure to hit that like button if you feel the same and want more Mortal Kombat X. Right now, though, let's do work. Such bitterness and hate. I infringe upon your territory. I'll show you its power. Round one. Fire. Scorpion is just gonna burn right through these fans. Hellfire Scorpion has a lot of fire moves. He's all about causing as much fire damage as you can. You've got this fire aura that lights yourself on fire and then also damages Katana. You can directly light her on fire. And then of course, you have your crazy fireball that I think looks so cool. I feel like I'm Goku mixed with Ryu, just going ham in the paint with all of that fire spray. And, and it's just, you can create some very good combos. I led that into an x-ray there. Um, one of the best ones is like you can teleport, get a kick in, then do like the fire aura or um, fire aura and then hellfire them. There's just a lot of nice things you can do with Scorpion. I've mentioned before, I almost feel like he's a little bit cheap just because he's so good, but I'm sure, you know, expert players know how to counter him just as sort of a average player. He seems really overpowered as Katana agrees there, but she has a X-ray locked up and ready to go. My brother hopefully will use it well. And I'm throwing even a barrel full of fire at her in this fight. Getting the throw in and we're going to work. This game feels so super smooth. It looks so awesome at 60 frames per second. I I've said it before, but I think it's going to be one of the better reviewed games of this year. Um, and possibly the most complete Mortal Kombat game that they've ever released. It just it feels to me even smoother and, and more fun than 9, which I really liked. Um, Katana doing some work here, coming back. Coming back. Can she tie this thing up or will Scorpion finish the fight? We got low health on Scorpion for sure. I don't know that he has enough juice in the tank to make this work, but perhaps he gets the uppercut, lights himself on fire. I believe that does a little bit of extra damage to her, although I'm not 100% sure. A sliver of health, and Katana gets the pathetic tiny poke victory. It's 1-1 here in this first match. Remember, it is a best of three matches, not just rounds. Um, I love supercharging the moves. That's kind of my favorite thing, but I also love lighting Katana on fire and hearing those screams. I was watching the Goro footage. You get him if you pre-order. Cannot wait to try that out. I can't wait to dive further into the single player, too. Uh, you guys have seen Johnny Cage's Chapter 1 on my channel, um, but I'm curious to see who is in Chapter 2, how many chapters there are, and what kind of crazy characters will show up. If you watched those videos, you saw that um, some of the guys we fought uh, were pretty interesting and surprising, so... Hopefully they continue to impress us throughout. Scorpion is going pyromaniac and just wants to light Katana on fire, but Katana is saying, I don't know. She's making a great plea here for her case, and she actually gets the first win. Jake, my brother, takes the 1-0 lead in this best of three match series here, looking to get a freaking fatality on poor Scorpion. Knelt down in defeat and disgust. He stands up, crying to the heavens, and Katana comes in and just doesn't do it. She can't do it. But I, I mentioned this before with Cassie Cage. I actually kind of like the character portrait end screen you get when you don't do a fatality. To me, it's more emblematic of the character that won. Um, so sometimes I like not doing the fatality. Getting a rematch right back at it. 1-0 <sighs> Jake, 1-0 Katana. Can Hellfire Scorpion come back? You stray from Quan Chi's side. And no look round one. I believe we can. Let's see what we got going on. Nice block by a Katana. She gives Scorpion a hug and makes him bleed. Katana is pretty powerful. Jake's favorite character in last uh, in Mortal Kombat 9 and here. I think it'd be so super sweet. I mean, I know this won't happen, but if they mixed Injustice characters with Mortal Kombat characters, they tried that in, in the, the DC vs. MK game, and I did not like that game at all. The graphics I thought were terrible. I did not like the fighting system. I thought it just was not good. But if there was some way to combo, like, Scorpion... I mean, he was DLC in Injustice. But think about it like the reverse. So, like, now bring Batman into Mortal Kombat 10 or something. It'll never happen, but one can dream. I guess I'm just basically saying I'm hyper excited for Injustice 2. Scorpion getting the fire blaze going on. We got a sliver of health, but I'm freaking furious. Teleport, X-Ray, and we're going to grab the win. Oh, my God. It's almost time. 
for a brutal pin by Scorpion as he smashes Katana to the floor. And we take the first round of this match here. It's 1-0 Katana in the series, now 1-0 in the second round for Scorpion. We pull Katana close, get the throw, and I'm feeling a little bit of extra energy here. Jake is on his heels now, Scorpion is doing his thing, and you'll see why I really like that Hellfire. I don't even use the Fireball that much. Um, you can, and I'm sure I could learn some combos to combo, you know, regular punches into the Fireball. Ooh, busted that Fire Barrel right on my face. Katana is not one to sit up down and fall over easily. Um, but yeah, I bet the Fireball could be incorporated into a lot of moves for even better, um, you know effective damage dealing, uh, which is something I'm not a pro at. But there we go, a charge up fireball. Katana misses with the x-ray. Probably a bad choice by Jake. It's coming down to the wire here. Can Scorpion tie things up in this series? I believe we can, but will it come through? A last push by Katana. A missed fireball. Another missed fireball. Oh, God. Down to the wire here. I'm getting nervous. Holy crap. Misses the fireball. Katana calls in an attack. Scorpion, though, gets the uppercut and is ready for battle. Can we do the fatality to tie this series at one to one? He's got quite the easy one, so I hope we can get this. Or not. Who cares? Let's look at Scorpion's beautiful face as he ignites his eyeballs. Scorpion wins. Beautiful, beautiful, my yellow ninja. We are now ready for the third and final match of this series. It's one one. You will accompany me. You may continue to wait. I assure you, I... Round one, fight. Winner takes all right here. Let's do it. Light it up, Scorpion. Light Katana up as well. Bring her to the flame zone. Those fans, man. I Sometimes I just think about the different attacks in Mortal Kombat and how much pain they would really inflict upon the, uh, the opponent. Like, the victim of these attacks would seriously be dead in one. Like, blade-tipped fans just slicing your torso. My god. Slicing your neck. Going through your eyeballs with knives, like, the person would be dead instantly. The, the vitality and persistence and, and stubbornness of these Mortal Kombat characters to get up after they have been brutally, basically murdered is insane. But perhaps in the nether realm, uh, you know, pain is not the same. Scorpion coming in strong, gonna get an early 1-0 round lead here in the final third uh, series. All right, I do not. I, to be honest, I don't even remember who won this fight, so I'm as excited right now as everybody else to see who ends up taking the crown. Can Scorpion get it? Jake, we won't let you win. I'm so excited to do multiplayer like uh, King of the Hill type matches with Jake where we set up weird tournaments like girls versus guys, or like left side versus right side, or big characters versus small. We always do weird things, or like different clans. We could now that there's factions, we could do like faction type multiplayer battles. It's gonna be sick. All right, Scorpion again coming in hot. Katana dodges the fire, but Scorpion gets the throw, which does a lot of damage. Katana supercharges up some fan throws, trying to zone Scorpion here to get the attacks. Makes me waste, but then I get the final. Can we get the finisher this time? Will we do it? Fatality? Is it in the cards? We win the series against Jake Scorpion. That Hellfire Edition Scorpion is absolutely beautiful. And I can't do the Fatality for the life of me. Forgive me. Katana just falls over. But I won't end there, even if that was a little bit disappointing with no Fatality, guys and girls. Let's show off something even more cool in the form of a Devora versus Quan Chi battle. It appears so. Then let us not delay. I feel like Devora is like straight out of some like demonic version of Starcraft sucked in from like the Zerg army. <sighs> Quan Chi is the warlock form. I'm Venomous Devora, so she's going to be focusing on poisoning. A um, little bit of spray from her bug on her arm. A little bit of underground spray as well. Quan Chi coming in with some of his magic here, including the flaming demon heads. The portal attacks are really devastating. There's like a portal master, Quan Chi. Um, in fact, this might even be him, uh, I don't remember the exact name of it, where he can, like, pull the op opponent through these portals, and it's frustrating to attack the fight against him. Uh, maybe Jake will get some of those moves here, but we get the x-ray, ooh, a triple skull crush, and Quan Chi sends us to another dimension, and then we get our neck snapped in half like they do in this game. 
who is going to win this one. This is just a single match. Uh, and Devorah gets the nice special there, finishing Quan Chi off 1-0 in the round count. Will we finish it off quickly, or will Quan Chi come back? Make sure to let me know in the comments below uh, who your favorite character thus far in Mortal Kombat X is. I cannot wait to play as Goro and Melina and some of the others, especially Predator. I know that DLC isn't coming out until I believe, um, I think it's early May. I think they're leading with Jason, and then... I think Predator is a little bit later on the DLC, but Jason comes out 12 days after the game, uh, which is pretty cool that they're dumping um, the new characters early and often um, for people that want those kind of sweet movie integrated characters in their game. Um, this one's pretty tight here. A lot of defense going on. Will Devora finish it in two, or will Conchi even things up? I love the music in the background. Just like the, the whole like um, production value and, and theme of this game is, is so well done. It feels incredibly polished. In an era when a lot of games release not polished, this this was a pre-release build that I played and it felt so polished, so I'm confident the full version is gonna be absolutely insane with how much they've got in there. I've mentioned how they have so much voice acting, um, a bunch of characters, a ton of modes, and then the online stuff for replayability. I predict like eight and a half, nine, maybe even nine and a half from some sites uh, for this game would be my guess. Final round now, Devora and Quan Chi all evened up. Who is going to get the win? We've got 60 seconds before we find out. I love that move with Devora because even if a character is like coming at you or has been hit, you can kind of like cue that attack up and it exists beyond after she does it. So you can cue that attack up uh, and then, you know, it, it may inflict damage upon your victim even after they've recovered or whatnot. Um, ooh, got the poison in his face, and you'll see that will take a tiny bit of damage off him, um, even without me touching him, a little bit. It's not a ton, but you'll see his meter going down ever so slightly. The poison is probably a, a small, you know, two, three uh, percent health decline, but it, it definitely pays off, and you'll see that here as Quan Chi tries to make a move on us, but we will say, no, my dear, Bug Queen for life. Even if it is getting a little close, we get that air throw, and Devora says hello. A little stab in the stomach, and we will say goodbye to Quan Chi and goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you want more Mortal Kombat X. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, guys and girls, and until next time, we will see you all later.